Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and I'm down here tonight with my dad, and we're gonna be making a Christmas wreath. So you probably clicked on this video simply because of the title um, of the video. Uh, and the reason for that is because that's the sign we're gonna be using. It says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Um, and the tinsel part is covered in glitter. The color scheme of this wreath is going to be like an aqua to mint color. And then we also have a emerald green. I'm not sure if I really wanna incorporate the emerald green. I do have one ribbon in case we wanna to decide to use that. And then of course the red, silver, and white. So this is gonna be the color scheme. This sign came from Trendy Tree. We also have another selection of ribbon that we can use. We have this pretty ribbon that came from them. And as you come in, be sure to say hi, let me know where you're watching from. And be, uh, first and foremost, if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, as well as, whoop, a thumbs up, as well as a share, I greatly appreciate it. So we just have a couple ribbons that we may use, we may not use. We'll figure that out later on. Uh, but I just completed a live in Nick's exclusive wreath community, creating a sunflower centerpiece. And I figured we'd go live with you guys as well. Hi, everybody. Hi, Donna. Hi, Internet. Welcome, you guys. We have Garnetta from Kentucky. Kentucky. We've been to Kentucky. Yep. Don from Illinois. Hope you're all doing well. Teresa from Alabama. Welcome, you, you guys. My dad's here reading comments. It just feels so different. You know, usually Alex is reading the comments and you're watching from upstairs, but yep, tonight yep. he's down here reading comments. Ohio, Midland, Texas. Ooh, great band. Yeah, great band. Is that what they got the name from? Midland? Maybe, huh? Maybe. Probably. They're definitely a Texas bass band. All right, so here we just have a funky looking work wreath. This is a wide tinsel white uh, work wreath. It's a 24 inch work wreath. And I always like to open up my twist before adding any product into it. That's something that I've been doing for a while now and it makes it so, so much easier adding your product into it. Hi Sherry from Ohio. Selena from Georgia. Karen from Sugarland, Texas. Sugarland, another great band. Virginia in the house, Nashville, Tennessee, Wilmington, North Carolina. This is awesome. Welcome, you guys. So we're going to be using some of this mesh. It says value mesh, but this is definitely not a value mesh. Um, this came from either Craft Outlet or Trendy Tree. And it has the red and white inside of it. Kind of in a stripe pattern. We've used this for candy cane wreaths. We've used it for all sorts of projects. Uh, but I just found this roll about four minutes ago. Uh-oh, where's my rotary cutter? Hi, Paula. Uh-oh. All right, I found it. No need to worry. I found the rotary cutter, and it's locked. Always make sure you guys lock <laughs> this thing. Um, one of my members once posted a picture of her using the rotary cutter for the first time and she sliced her finger really, really bad. So this blade is about two and a half, three years old. I very rarely change them. I have a whole pack of them. Um, but if we're gonna be honest, I'd rather, cause I'm used to holding this. So if somebody else uses this, a friend or a family member, they might have a tough time cutting it, uh, but I'm able to manipulate it. I personally would rather deal with an old dull blade than a, a sharp, fresh blade because those little suckers are incredibly sharp. Yes, they are. Karen said, did the wreath come from Trendy Tree? The frame? The frame did not. That frame came from somewhere. I've had it for a couple of years. I've had two or three of them, but as you can see, they're not like the, I don't know, the, just the tinsel looks a little funky on it. So I figured might as well use it tonight. But this could have came from AC Moore, if we're going to be honest. This could have came from three, four years ago. It could have been a, a long time ago. But that store is long gone now. So now we're just creating ruffles. I cut these pieces about 14 to 16 inches. And we're going to create little bow ties out of them. Cindy says, love your beautiful art from Terrace, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you. My dad actually lived in Canada for Toronto, a bit. Toronto, yep. Yep, so you guys might remember me telling you that. I couldn't remember if it was Montreal or Toronto or wherever he came from. Um, but he lived in Toronto for a bit. And he loved it, he said. Yes, I did. Loved it, yeah. One of the most beautiful places you've said you've lived. Yeah, it's a great place, Toronto. And I remember growing up, he always used to say it was so incredibly clean. <laughs> so it's probably a beautiful place. 
Hi, Pat from Northern Massachusetts. Welcome. So we're just adding one piece to each. And I don't know how many twist ties this frame has, so I'll probably cut another eight or nine, and then we'll add those in. The reason I'm cutting a few at a time is because we don't have Yaya down here today. Uh, we decided to give her a little break. She's been at it all day today. So I gave her a break. She doesn't have to sit down here and line up the mesh. Alex says, hey, Nick and Dad. Hey, Al. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Everybody be sure to say, Alex, she's upstairs editing a video for me right now. Or she better be. <laughs> But me and Alex created a sunflower design yesterday. Uh, we were planning on finishing up our bench today because she goes back to work Thursday and I will be miserable after that. I'm gonna miss her. It's been nice having her home for the last few months. But we gotta finish the bench and hopefully show you guys how to make your own. I think it's gonna be cute. So now we'll come Michigan, sorry, oh, Michigan, ahead. Australia. It's awesome. So many people in the house. Australia, welcome. So we'll just add one piece to each. And then we also have a different mesh with, um, it's like a fabric mesh. Let me show you guys that real quick. Look at that. Isn't that pretty together? I like those together. It's going to look good. Pat says, Nick, you have your whole family working. I know. They don't have a choice. <laughs> They're lucky if they get lunch breaks. I'm not kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, he, but, he ain't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's nice. It's it's Nick's seasonal decor, but it's definitely the Credit Coast family helping business. You know, they help me a lot. I told you guys my dad's the best shopper. He, Me and Yaya are frugal, but he'll put anything and everything in a cart. He's gotten so much better about that lately, you guys. Um, today we were talking, we were in... Uh, Peabody, Massachusetts, and uh, he wanted to get something, and there's the same store up in New Hampshire, Seabrook, New Hampshire, and he said to me, might as well save the tax and just go to New Hampshire, and that's something he would never have said before, so we're teaching him. Becky said, what is the biggest wreath you have ever made? Biggest wreath? Uh, so we, we, hands up if you guys remember my burlap wreath. Burlap, my, that was a huge one. My very, very first wreath tutorial. Um, that was... Three and a half years ago, yeah, four years half, ago. Four years ago, yeah. About four years ago. Uh, so thumbs up if you guys remember that video. My dad will let me know if any of you guys remember it. It's been so long. But I created a 48-inch version of that. Yeah, it's big, yeah. And you guys remember my technique for that, which is all fine and dandy for an 18-inch grapevine wreath, but for a 48-inch um, wire wreath that we created that on, or grapevine, I don't remember. That was a lot of work. Hi, Crystal from Queensland, Australia. Ooh. Good evening, Lisa. Thank you. We're doing well. Hope you're all doing good. All right. I don't know how many pieces left. I'm just going to cut a couple more. Hi, Mary. Patty. Hi, everybody. Are we hey, all from Missouri, Carol says. Missouri? We were in Missouri last summer. Yeah. There's a picture of me and Alex under the ar arch. Arch? Arch. 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 <laughs> Not the arc. Um... Yeah, it was fun. Ruth Ann Brantley says, my first time watching you made the burlap wreath. Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. So we have a few more ruffles left. And I know this part can get boring, you guys, but it's always nice having your company while we design. Thank you, son. Yeah, it's fun to be here. Elena says, hi from California. Love watching you and your dad. That's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, how many twists left? It looks like we have four left. Julia says she would love to see a burlap wreath made, made. Nick. We should do one again. I should do one again. What do you guys think? For old time's sake, should we make the same wreath that we created? A funny thing about that is that was my very first viral video. Um, I did a version, my very first video I did on Nick's seasonal decor, but we also did a version for Home Talk. And that was probably my second or third Home Talk tutorial, but it went viral and um, we put a monogram on it. We used the letter S, and the S was upside down. You know, sometimes those monograms are hard to distinguish what side is up. I mean, for certain letters, you know, like D or S, um, not so much like A and stuff like that, you can tell. But the S was upside down, and like I said, it went viral, so we got hundreds of comments saying, the S is upside down, but the video's already been posted. There's nothing I can do about that. 
Uh, so it just takes me back to that <laughs> one instance. Hi, Julie from Cape Cod. Hi, Julie. All right, I lied. It looks like there's two more twists. So what did you guys do today? We've had a busy day. Um, woke up nice and early. Went to bed really, really late, but woke up nice and early. Filmed a greenery wreath for Home Talk. We filmed another tutorial. Um, we did a live tonight in the private group. We're doing a live tonight for you guys. And then we're going to edit some some videos afterwards and admit some people onto our new website because I just created a new feature on my website where people can access all of my, all, members can access all of my tutorials that we've done in the group over the last couple of years. Uh, so right now we're just working on uploading the new ones because we've just been cranking out content. But pretty soon we're gonna have all of the videos I've ever made in order on the website. Isn't that pretty together so far? I think it's gonna be pretty. So now we're gonna add some fabric mesh. Nick Clara says, do you remember I said only left-handed people are in the right mind while making your first read? <laughs> <laughs> Clara. Clara Joe Zoli. <laughs> that's funny, yeah. That's, that's funny. It's been a long time. Doesn't feel like it, though. All right, so the very end of this, since it's fabric, and the texture of this, you guys, here, I'm going to throw this little piece to my dad. He'll have the scrap. Feel the texture of that, dad. Tell me what it feels like. Doesn't it feel like, like a cotton shirt? Yeah, it feels like it feels a plain old shirt. Yeah, it feels nice though, yeah. Smooth. It's a great texture. So these pieces I'll cut the same length and we'll just create curls out of them. So I'm just curling them up. And you see the, the blue, the icy blue, and the red. That's the color I called it last year. I called it an icy blue. And then what we're gonna do is place one piece. I'm thinking we may might as well just place one piece in every twist because it's not so so bold. So we'll place one piece in every twist. And this is the perfect mesh because it doesn't fly all over the table and go everywhere. Hi, Jane. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Jane. Likewise, I hope you're feeling better. She's got an x-ray on her foot. No walking. No walking. Stay off your feet. Get yourself better. All right. Yeah, this mesh cuts very nicely. Like I said, this blade's three years old, you guys. So once you get used to your tools, I think that's what a lot of people kind of struggle with is not giving them uh, enough time to really relax themselves with their tools and products. So for instance, like bow making, I know a lot of people struggle with bow making, but if you just practice and get a feel for ribbon, if you've never made bows before, trust me, you'll get the hang of it. You know, just get used to holding things, uh, working with products. Because if Alex tried to use this today, uh, and she has, she's done it in videos. She always ends up missing a few pieces and has to do a double cut. Whereas I very rarely have to do that. So once you get used to your tools, everything becomes so much easier. Clara sent 50 stars, Nick. Thank you, Clara. Thank you, Clara. Lisa Morell says, I love that your whole family is involved. You do. I don't. No, I'm kidding. It's <laughs> awesome. It is. It's a I lot of fun. from Henderson, Nevada. Ooh. Dad's got to take me to Las Vegas. I was saying in the video the other night with Yaya Dad that um, I really wanted to go to Vegas for my 21st, but the very next day after my birthday, we went to New Orleans, and I can't think of a better time we could have had yeah, than going to New Orleans when you turn 21. That was a blast at Wreath Makers Live. And Case Palmer sent 50 stars too. Thank you guys for the stars. Thank you, Ann. So I usually alternate between mesh with two different colors and that was my plan for this but I think just working with this one mesh is going to create a really cool look so it's always fun to try something different if it ends up looking great awesome if it doesn't you'll probably never see this wreath listed in my shop <laughs> but I, I already like it so far I love it it's very it's full it's fluffy like yeah so I posted a picture a couple weeks ago of a grapevine version we did and it's not going to be similar to this but the color scheme is similar and that was Everybody's favorite wreath last year. They went crazy over it. I really like that color scheme too. That icy blue with the dark red. Yeah. Krista says, what do you like working with the best? Deco mesh, burlap, or fabric mesh? None of the above. My favorite is florals. My dad's laughing. He knew I was going to say that. My favorite is florals. But if I had to choose a type of mesh, I love working with like burlap mesh. 
And I'm not talking just like regular burlap. I'm talking like burlap deco mesh where it has the jute or jute poly mesh is what it's called. They have so many different names for mesh, you guys. That's my favorite. It's just a neutral color and that's my go-to. I actually ran out, so I got to order some. I got to message Trendy Tree, see if they have any in stock um, because I've been looking for it. I actually have a couple videos that I'm trying to work that into. And actually, we were going to do a thankful, blessed wreath tonight using that. But like I said, I don't have any. Debbie popped good year, sent 50 stars. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Lisa right. Morell said, if you come to Oklahoma, we'd love to meet y'all. You know, I'd always love to go to Oklahoma. My favorite singer of all time is Carrie Underwood's from Chicota, Oklahoma. So we were only a couple hours from there. And at Wreath Makers Live last year, I adopted a couple grandmothers. They told me that I'm their adopted grandson. So yeah, she said she missed meeting us at Wreath Makers Live 19. Oh, but I would love to come visit. I was actually mad at my dad for a couple hours because we didn't end up going to Oklahoma. Paula says, would you call this a pancake wreath? Uh, this is not a pancake wreath. I've seen some designers create the pancake wreath. I've yet to attempt it. It looks like a wonderful design for, you know, kind of like screen doors and stuff like that. Um, I haven't done it personally yet, but maybe we should do that one day. What do you guys think? Brenda says, what is the white ties? Is it a fluffy pipe cleaner? So great question. You often see me work with um, pencil work wreaths. And the difference between that and this is, is that this is more like Christmas tree branches. So like a Christmas tree that you have in your house, an artificial one. This is the width of those. Whereas the pencil one's a little bit more insignificant. You don't see it as much. So I personally like that, but we have this today. Might as well get rid of this frame. That's what I've been doing lately too. Uh, Dad, have you picked up on that? I've just been going through stuff that I, you know, purchased at one point yeah, loving yeah. and haven't that, loved, yeah. at, you know, and then I've just put it to use and end up loving it. So if there's things that you don't think will work, there's a 50-50 shot that they'll work and that you'll love them or that you won't love them. So I say give it a shot. You never know until you try. Dennis Longerbeam sent 50 stars. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. And Clara did again another 50 stars. Thanks, Clara. Clara, you rock. All right, I don't know how many more pieces we need of this. We're running a little low, but I do have two rolls, thankfully. But let's try to get it with one roll. So in case you guys want to make your own, you know how much to get. Barbara Burris says, how do you become a member? You can sign up at nickseasonaldecor.com under Nick's Exclusive Wreath Community. Tutorials are set up a little bit different than this. We did a live like this live um, tonight earlier making a sunflower arrangement. But probably about 75-80% of the tutorials in the group are pre-recorded using my camera, edited down. Uh, basically, it's a, a deeper look into my way of thinking when it comes to designing and how I pair things up and what I do and what I don't recommend doing and all sorts of stuff like that. Melanie says she's from the UK and she hasn't seen that tool there. Is there some place that can import that? From the UK. So Amazon's international, Amazon, yeah, right? Yeah, international, so, right? Yeah. So Amazon should have it. It's called a rotary cutter, but the most important part with the rotary cutter, let's see if you guys know the most important part when getting this. This has a symbiotic relationship with something. A cutting board. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the cutting board. It's a self-healing mat. So make sure it's self-healing because if it's not self-healing, you'll either cut your table or your break your blade or just dull your blade. And Damon gave me crap the other night, too, because he said Parker needs to send me um, a full-size one. And I said, I love, my, I like this one, you know? I think it's just because I can take it. And I literally take it, you guys, when I'm in between tutorials and stuff, and I'll throw it on the floor. Because uh, it is distracting if you're doing a certain wreath. This wreath's already massive, so it's not going to, you're not going to even see the mat. But we have one piece left. Bear with me, you guys. I know this is kind of tedious and time consuming, but we still have enough for maybe one or two pieces. Judy said, awesome as always, love watching from Tennessee. Thank well, you, Well, we Judy. love Tennessee, didn't we, Nick? It's one of our we favorite love, states. I love Tennessee. Tennessee's one of my favorite states, it is. And let me know where you guys are from. I love hearing where everybody's from. Katie's from Florida. Ooh. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that beautiful? I really like that color combination. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Roxy. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. I like that color combination too. Okay, so for this wreath, I was thinking we'll do a big bow. 
Do you guys like this in it? I think I have to. I don't know. You still torn with that green, huh? I, I think we'll add it. Yes to the green or no to the green? Let us know. I'll probably end up using it anyway, just because I think since we used the red and blue last year, might as well add some green to it this year. It is a sheer ribbon, so it's not going to be overpowering. Brenda Lee Montgomery sent 50 stars. Thank you, Brenda. Clara Joe said, I am a quilter. I have eight mats all sizes and 15 rotary cutters all sizes. Oh, my gosh. A quilter? She's locked and loaded. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna deal with this ribbon as well. And this is another sheer version of the green one. And both of these came from Trendy Tree, and not Trendy Tree, these came from Hobby Lobby. And our third ribbon came from Trendy Tree. Uh, so this is something that they ran out of last year. Um, so I'm gonna stock up on these before you guys buy them all out because I love this ribbon. Great quality. But let's create a bow. So you have Portsmouth, Ohio, Nick. Boise, Idaho. Amy from California. We have Austin, Texas, Wisconsin, San Diego, Louisiana, New York. This wow. is amazing. You guys are awesome. All right. So for this bow, we're kind of do a traditional funky bow. Well, nothing's too traditional about this. Uh, but I really like the look of it. So we'll start with one tail, uh, one loop and two tails. The loop's about five and a half inches wide. Now we'll come back in with our red and silver. Brenda says, do you have tutorials for, let's say, a beginner? I have a creative mind but can't seem to create a thing. LOL. Love it. It's so pretty. This grandma is from Kansas. <laughs> no. We do. We have lots of beginner tutorials. Um, we have hundreds of tutorials. It's just crazy the amount of videos we've done over the last several years. So beginner, my biggest advice for my videos would be to go to the, uh, Home Talk. So I work with Home Talk creating content for you guys um, weekly. So Home Talk has a lot of great beginner tutorials of mine. Uh, and then also you can just scroll back a little bit. We also do three minute videos that I think everybody can do. Those are videos that are very simple, budget friendly, and I think perfect for beginners. But something like this is something you could easily do too. It just takes a little bit of practice. So now we're gonna add a second layer. Katie says, never tuned in before with Dad. This is a treat. Love, love your family support. Oh, thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Reva from Kentucky says, first time watching. Awesome job. Thank you. Yes, use the green. Yes, green. Yes, green. All right, give some thumbs up if you want to see Dad down here again. <laughs> it's going to take some motivation. <laughs> no, I love being down here. Yeah, he'll be in a lot of videos. He doesn't have a choice. Isn't that right, Dad? You yes, don't have sir. a choice? That's right. Niagara Falls, Colorado, Arkansas, Fleming Island, Florida. I haven't heard of that before. Connecticut, Redmond, Washington, North Carolina. This is just amazing. Vermont, Palm Bay, Florida, originally from Vermont. I'm sorry. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. At this point in time, if you don't mind giving this video a like as well as a share, I greatly appreciate it. It helps me grow as a designer. It helps me inspire more and more people. And as you can see some of the comments tonight, this is some people's first time and they feel inspired from making a wreath. And that's what this is all about. That's what I'm doing this for. I want you guys to feel inspired. Anybody can do it. Thank you, Marianne. She says, yay, I love hearing dad's voice. <laughs> we love and appreciate you all. We really do. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And you know, in the beginning, I used to hate hearing my voice. I think everybody, it's like in everybody that they hate hearing their voice. But now I'm just so used to it you know, editing videos and stuff like that and watching replays, which I really don't do. I don't really watch my lives um, back to forth. I'm talking more along the lines of like edited, uh, edited videos. But I used to hate my voice in the beginning and now you just, you get used to it. But every time I have friends in my videos or Alex or, you know, anybody, they're always like, I hate my voice, I hate my voice. Donna says, thumbs up for dad. That's sweet, thank you. Karen Stone says, I would love to see dad make a wreath. Ooh, that's another good thing. What do you guys think? You want to see Dad make a wreath? I'd be nervous as hell. Better question is, <laughs> would I like to see Dad make a wreath? He better make a good wreath after all these years. He's He's been watching me. I might have to sneak down here some morning when Nick's not up yet and practice. Yeah, he's going to have to. Because if, if Dad can't make a wreath, that just goes to show how I am as a teacher. Right, Dad? Yes, sir. So you better be making a good wreath. Angela sent 50 stars. Thank you, Angela. Thanks, Angela. All right, I don't know how many more we have to cut, but I always seem to miss one or two. 
So I'll probably end up missing. Oh, I see one. All right, maybe this is the last one, you guys. Unless one pops up a little bit later on. My All right. son, Dad. <laughs> what do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? Love the colors. It's not a pretty color combination. Sure, make a wreath, Dad. That's the comment I see. <laughs> you guys asked for it. He's going to have to do it. Dennis says you're one of the best, kiddo. Thank you, Dennis. All Katie right. Katie Dowd Owen says the trifecta. Nick, Dad, and Yaya making a <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a sight to see. Okay. So now we're just going to secure it into our wreath. I'm wondering if I want to add more ribbon to that. We only did two pieces of each, but I think that should be good enough. I'm not going to mess around too much with that. So most important part when adding anything into your wreath like this is to make sure you secure it to the metal frame. I can't stress that enough. If you secure it just to the mesh, it will sag over time, no matter how heavy the product is. So always, always, always to the metal. Roxy Pendleton sent 50 stars. Thank you, Roxy. Thanks, Roxy. Then we can give our bow a quick little fluff. So sheer ribbon's a ribbon that I don't love to work with, but... You know, I have probably hundreds of rolls just from the beginning. And can you guys guess who bought those rolls? I'll point in the direction. <laughs> he bought those rolls. So I'm putting them, to, uh, putting them to use. That's what we've been doing lately, getting rid of supplies, bringing in new stuff. Yeah, Nick gets, Nick gets nervous when I tell him I'm going shopping. I get very nervous <laughs> when he tells me he's going shopping. Pat Flood said, it's so great to see a young man and his father not only working together, but getting along so good. Oh, it's always not roses like this. <laughs> we fight like anybody else, but no, me For and my dis part we all get along. We really do. Really well. We We're really do. Family. It's unusual, but I love it. And you know, it makes me sad to see like my friends that don't have close, close families and stuff like that because I, it's just something that we've always had, and it yeah, progressively yeah, yeah. gets closer and closer. You have him tearing up, you guys. He's he's tearing up. <laughs> Katie Dowd says the funkiest of bows. It is funky. It is, isn't it? First time Dad's down here, he's already tearing up. It's okay. Dad is an awesome shopper. He is an awesome shopper. All right. I love that bow. Look at that color combination, you guys. I'm going to love this. Re this is not even going to be for sale. They probably end up on my Etsy anyway, but I love it. All right, where's my perfect tails? Veronica says go big or go home. That's <laughs> right, Veronica. <laughs> Does the green have a wire in it? Clara wants to know. Is it, it, it does, Clara, but it's not a thick, thick wire. So um, you, I think even the cheapest quality ribbon, high quality ribbon does help. It really does. But I think even if you have cheap quality ribbon, it's all about fluffing, not so much the bow making process in my opinion. Um, and that's just something that I really kind of discovered recently. I always say you always want to make perfect bows, but it's not about the bow itself. It's always going to be about the fluffing process afterwards. So even if it's sheer or if the wire is thin or whatever the case may be, if you can position it exactly the way you want it, it'll turn out beautiful. All right, Thank I don't know how Roxy. many this is. Sorry, Nick. Thank you, Roxy. We love you too. Christine Wilson Haynes sent 50 stars. She sent another 50 stars and another 50. Wow, oh my Thank gosh. You, Christine. Thank you, Christine. We have Lorna from Scotland. That's phenomenal. Hi, Lorna. Scotland. You guys have the best accent I've ever heard in my life. I love it. All right, so now we're using our perfect tails. These came from the Soul Sisters. Uh, so I'll have a link down below where you guys can purchase these, but they're an awesome tool, and I would have never thought of it. So they are incredibly creative when it came to something like this. Um, if there's a tool that you can use to fix a problem or have a solution to something, you know, that's just amazing. And this definitely helps creating your tails so you don't have to sit there and cut each one individually like we used to. So I'm using the 14 inch size, 14 inch. What and is that thing, Nick, the same? Is, that's a, is that a... Yep, this is the perfect tails. The bow thing, is that a bow measurer? So it just cuts your tails. Ah, your tails. So we created our bow by hand, and then we're using this for our tails. All right, so now we got a dovetail. Do you guys want to keep me company while I dovetail, or do you guys want me to dovetail after the video to not keep you guys too long? The choice is up to you. But now we're going to do the red one as well. So we're doing all three ribbons. 
I don't even know how many of each, but we'll end up using these eventually anyway. Um, so I'll just store them away. I don't like doing that, but that's what we're doing tonight. But dovetailing, whether I do it now or later, it's definitely an important part of any wreath. It creates a professional looking end to your ribbons. And it says, tears show a wonderful loving heart. You're so lucky, Nick, to have him as your dad. That's right. Oh, thank you, Pat. I want to see it all. You got it. All right, so to dovetail, we're going to take our ribbons, line them up, and maybe Dad could do some. I don't know if Dad's ever dovetailed before. Have you dovetailed, Dad? No. What size is the ribbon, Nick? Two and a half inch for the red and the green, and one and a half inch for the icy blue and red. So my favorite is the one and a half inch. Dad, you know that? Yep. Yep, one and a half inch. Uh, we obviously use two and a half inch frequently, but I just love the look of the one and a half inch ribbon. But I do something a little bit different than a lot of designers. I don't love the, the ribbons that have lots and lots of prints. You especially see it at Halloween time that, you know, the ribbon that says like eek or boo or spooky and all those different prints. I love simplicity with my designs. So if you do use those ribbons, which we do use occasionally, make sure you're not using multiple prints with multiple verses and words on it. Use that as your focus ribbon, and then everything else can be solids or polka dots or just a very plain print. So I'm just to, curious, is there any wreath that Nick hasn't made that anybody would like to see something different? That's just my question, guys. So what do you mean by that question? Well, just something that they haven't seen, something that like they like to see you create. You know what I mean? Like color scheme or yeah, design? Just anything. Yeah, just anything? Anything? anything. That's a good question, Dad. So let us know. What would you guys like to see? Because I think we've been doing a lot of things that are kind of outside of my element lately. Um, but we also, we also have been doing a lot of designs that are just staples for me. You know how everybody has their signature thing. Mine happens to be kind of like a bow in the left-hand corner with the loops. I just love the look of that. So quick dovetailing. If somebody can create like a, a stamp or like a, a hole punch, you know the hole punches with the different shapes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. maybe that's a good idea. Let's see if we can find that. I just gave away my idea. No, I, I definitely couldn't figure that out. But you know like those hole punchers that you use for different shapes, like flowers and stuff? I'm wondering if they have like a, a, a V-shaped one that you can cut all of your ribbon tails with at once. You know? Hmm. Do you ever do cemetery cones for the holidays, Nick? So we created one last month, not even, yeah, a couple weeks ago in our exclusive wreath community. And I, I used to do a lot of them. Remember when, how many we used to make for yeah. local customers? And that just always takes me back to, you know, four years ago when I first really started designing. Um, I haven't done it in a while, but, you know. Here's some suggestions. A pancake wreath, a uh, patriotic wreath. A scarecrow wreath, and this one actually sounds really good. Krista says, how about a nightmare before Christmas wreath? Ooh, so unfortunately I can't do the nightmare before Christmas uh, for copyright reasons. So I stay away from anything copyrighted, and I highly recommend you guys too because they have teams out there searching nonstop, looking for you guys to have the Grinch and all of that stuff. So um, I love the nightmare before Christmas. Growing up, that was my favorite it's movie. Favorite, yeah. yeah, that was my favorite movie. Hi, Donna. No, Alex is, is go. Alex goes back to work on Thursday, honey. Yep, Thursday is her first day back. And I'll probably take a picture of her like she's going to her first day of school. Mm -hmm. And I'll post that. Jenny says, my son's in the Army. I would like uh, to see a military wreath. Yeah, we definitely can do something like that. Um, one of my best friends is a Marine. And, um, well, I don't want to say too much in case she decides to watch this video. But, yeah, she might be having something for her soon but we have a couple more pieces to cut i hope i'm not boring you guys too too much but then we'll add these attach our sign and to attach our sign we're going to use what dad let's see how much you pay attention I, I wasn't, I was to um that. to uh secure our sign what kind of tool do we use what kind of tool yeah the, um oh my god what's it called <laughs> I, I got brain freeze a staple gun a staple gun yeah, yeah. A staple gun brain freeze all right, so let me just things. dump this on the in the trash, not on the floor. I almost said that. And then we can add our tails. So I don't know how many tails we cut. I just cut a bunch of them. So I'm thinking we'll alternate with one of each. 
Waylene says she would love to see a Leo wreath made for year round. <laughs> a Leo wreath? Like a sign? Like a, um... I guess uh, that's what I, that's in capitals. I'm guessing that's what I thought. I thought it was the zodiac sign, maybe. Yeah, I'm. We're both Leos. Me and my dad are both Leos. And Bella too. Bella's a Leo too. Yeah. When's the cutoff? Oh, it's like a week before Bella's yeah. birthday. Yeah. So there's three Leos in this household. Whatever Alex is, <laughs> that's definitely why, why we fight. But so we're just alternating between the two of them. And one thing I always like to tell everybody is to treat your tails like they are um, flower petals. So think of this wreath as a sunflower, not the best color scheme to give that effect. But in the middle, you have the seeds and around the perimeter, you have all the petals. The petals always shoot away from the middle. So never have them going in the opposite direction like this. Always have them outwards. Have you done one with the mannequin head like Amy Smith? I have not. Amy Smith is just beyond talented. She's just incredible. So yes, I have is, yeah. I have yet to do that. Um, but I think I think I'll leave that up to the experts of the mannequin heads. Uh, and I believe she gets hers from Ivith, who is just unbelievable as well. Me and my dad were talking to her in New York for a while. She does incredibly. Oh, the girl does the signs. Yeah, she does incredible very, very, painted signs. Very talented. Yes. And it's a very sweet lady, too. But yeah, Amy's amazing. You know, there's so many amazing people in this community. And it really is just a giant community. Uh, community. We all have so much fun. All right. Marianne says, this? how about a Father's Day wreath? A Father's Day wreath. We created one on Bodabra last month. Um, so my dad's a little bit different than probably 99.99% .99 of dads out there. My dad's not an outdoorsman. Um, he's not a fisher. He's not a hunter. It's not a gatherer. I do enjoy cutting the lawn, though. He does enjoy cutting his lawn. But uh, we created a fishing-themed wreath with little fishies. But it's kind of like, it's like me buying, you see, Yaya always tells me not to buy her flowers for Mother's Day and stuff like that. We end up doing it anyway. But, you know, just because you're so used to seeing things all the time, that's why we bought her a rocking chair and stuff like that. Something a little bit different so that, you know, because she practically lives with flowers all the time, knowing knowing our situation here. Roxy sent 50 stars again, Nick. Thank you, Roxy. You're on a roll tonight. Sherry says, I have a huge wreath for my outside porch at Christmas. Have you ever done one of those on here? A huge wreath? So we actually um, ordered, like, we have like 25 frames in the garage that are 48-inch work wreaths. You know what I'm talking about, Dad? Those yeah. giant, giant yeah, frames. Those big ones, yeah. And... Didn't you do one a few years ago for a bank or something? I thought you did a big one. I did do yeah. one for a bank. I did one for a local bank. Uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I'm surprised you remember ago. that. Yeah, he forgets ago. my name every day, but he can remember a wreath I made for a bank five <laughs> years ago. But, uh, yeah, we have some 48-inch work wreaths. But I've always said this, and I said this the other night, and I just I think I just got to do it. Maybe we'll start doing it for Christmas to be ahead. Uh, but we live in a colonial-style house, and I love that. I love when things are symmetrical. So we have a window on either side of our house. You know, everything's matchy-matchy. The door's perfectly in the middle. So I really want to put a, a wreath in every window. And we have two large windows on either side of our house. So maybe we'll use those frames for some massive wreaths using just yeah. deco mesh. It's a good idea. Brenda also says she has a, a son overseas and she'd like to see an army wreath. Then you have a challenge from Kathy. He says, uh -oh, how about Kathy. a Mickey Mouse type wreath without using a copyright material? So that's a great idea, too. Um, you just could use a generic mouse. I wouldn't do anything too close to it. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I just I get very nervous about stuff like that. Rightfully so. You know, I've seen a lot of pages, you know, have issues with them yep. from that stuff. They have Disney has teams out there looking for stuff. So I don't really like to mess with it. But we could just do like a mouse themed wreath or something yeah but nothing too close looking like mickey or minnie or donald duck or anything like that rather be safe than sorry you guys you know because if my page gets shut down for good oh that would be the worst thing that could ever happen well one of the worst things that could ever happen how about a zodiac wreath for each month each sign <laughs> that's a great that's idea, a great idea. Yeah. yeah cowboys as yeah. long as i'm not stuck with I don't know how many Zodiacs. Is there 12? No, there's got to be more than that or less than that. That's 12. Yeah. Is there 12? Yeah. Well, why aren't they have perfect days each month? For each month, isn't that? No, it's, they, it's like I'm different not days. Big into I'm not big into that either, but that's a great idea. 
We should give that a shot. All right. So we just needed a couple more of the blue because we decided to use it in every twist. But what do you guys think of this wreath so far? Give some hearts if it's shaping up. And we're not going to need to do too much fluffing either because it's already done for us. By yours truly. Waylene says law enforcement officer. Great idea. All right, so we got to cut. That should be enough. Let's see. All this right. One for you. And then Katie says, you and Alex fight? I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, please, Katie. Yes, we fight like crazy. Uh, but I love her more than anything. And like I said, it's going to be really, really tough when she goes back to work. I tell my dad that every day. I know. She's my buddy down here. She's been keeping me company for months now, helping me produce content. So we're going to be working extra, extra hard once she goes back because she works full time. Um, Alex works at Louis Vuitton and, you know, she has long, tiring days. So Amber sent 100 stars. Thank you. Amber. Thank you, Amber. But I'm going to miss her. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. So this should be our last piece. I don't think we need anything under our bow or to the sides of our bow. You can if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to hold off on doing that. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I lied. I'm going to place one more underneath the bow. Lisa says, where do you get your signs, Nick? So the sign we're using today came from Trendy Tree. And I absolutely love the team at Trendy Tree. Jeannie and Carrie, they are awesome. And Carrie is probably one of the funniest people in this community that I've met so far. She's hilarious. But they have these signs. I don't know how many they have. But save me a couple, you guys. I want to order a couple more of these. I love this color combination. And I was iffy on the emerald green. But I'm glad we did something a little bit different than the color scheme we did last year. So now what we're going to do is secure our sign. Another little pop quiz with my dad. What are we going to use to secure it? Wire? No, a staple gun. Staple gun. And pipe cleaners. And pipe cleaners. What color pipe cleaner are you going to use? We're going to use red. Not like it really matters with this design. You're not going to see it anyway. Yeah, they're not going to see it anyway. Kim Best Emerson sent 50 stars, Nick. Thank you, Kim. All right, so now we're just going to make some noise for a couple seconds. And what I also like to do is just staple the cord in case my customer decides they want to use the sign elsewhere. They still have a nice hanger that they can use. And you can't see it, so why not just keep it on? Lois says, don't forget a new idea for a teacher wreath, please. You got it. So my brother's fiance is actually an incredible teacher. Gabby, you guys have met Gabby a time or two, I believe. Um, yeah, she's she's done an unboxing with me, I think. Yeah, she did a, a couple of weeks ago, I think, wasn't it? Nick? Uh, Was it I, longer? I, mean, I think it's, it's been a while. Three, weeks, I don't know. Oh, probably a couple months. But she is wonderful, and I can't think of a better fit for my brother. She's already been family, so the, the label of marriage doesn't really make any difference anyway. Uh, she's She's been family since day one. But we're going to just secure it. Remember, guys, secure it to the metal frame, never just to the mesh. Because if you secure it just to the mesh, it'll fray over time. Don says, Nick, do you have a group and how much? I do. So right now we're running a special for your first month. It's $12.50. Um, thereafter, it's $25 a month. We did 16 tutorials last month, I believe, give or take one or two. And then same with the month before. And we're already... We have already filmed nine tutorials. We're going to add another video tonight. But you can sign up at nickseasonaldecor.com under Nick's Exclusive Wreath Community. And we're actually going to close up the membership for a little while just so that we can um, fix our website, make sure everybody's up to date and every, everything's okay and everybody has access and kind of focus on putting all of the videos on the website uh, because that does take, does take some time putting all of those videos because I'm talking, how many videos have we done for the group? Hundreds. Hundreds, hundreds of videos. It's been crazy. Karen Hanna sent 50 stars. Lisa Morell sent 50 stars. And Clara sent 50 stars again. Oh, my gosh. You guys are Thank awesome guys. tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Rhonda says, how old are you, Nick? Too old. <laughs> I'm 21. I will be 22 in the end of July. So about a month and a half from now, right? What's today? The 16th? 15th. 15th? 16, I think today is the 16th. So about a month and a half, I will be 22. 
so old. Old man now. I'm old now. <laughs> so I'm going to hang this wreath up, give you guys one final look, so just bear with me for one second. So guys, we really appreciate you guys tuning in with us tonight. It's fun. Thank you, guys. We appreciate all the comments and everything. So let me just turn you around. Sorry if it gets a little shaky. Dad's over there. Hi, guys. Wait, let me turn it up. I'm using my, um, what is it called? My tripod. tripod. So I'm turning the camera around. Excuse the mess. At the same time, I don't care, you guys. We've just been on a roll. Uh, so here's the wreath. So, of course, we still need to do a little bit of fluffing. But give some hearts and some shares if you guys enjoyed tonight's video. I had a lot of fun. Uh, lots of laughs and some tears. <laughs> Something that I don't think has happened in a live before. But, again, thank you guys so much. This will be listed in my Etsy shop. We do have on the floor... Excuse the mess. We do have a five gallon bucket full of decorative picks that I think would be kind of pretty in it. So we could add those if we wanted to. Um, but I'll probably do that afterwards. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. We love all of you and appreciate each and every one of you. So let me know what you think. I'm really glad we added the emerald green too. But not the biggest fan of mesh, but we certainly can make it work. So again, have a good night, stay safe, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you.